is April the 2nd. Um, I've only really had the idea to do these sort of documented vlogs uh, yesterday, and this track has actually already been finished since then. Um, so I can't really document what I'm doing as I'm doing it, but I can show you some of the sounds that have been used. Um, it's a liquid track, it's all winter themed, so we can just show you a little bit of the first chorus here. Right on solo that, sorry. That's sort of like the main theme of the track. Um, so we'll start off with our drums. Um, here we have a um, a group where it has a cabinet on it for certain parts of the track. For some other parts, it doesn't, or it's just um, completely completely dry from that. A drum bus on it to boost some of the bass of the kick drum and stuff. Um, an audio fact track with a chain selector in it that I, doesn't actually do anything. I don't. I decided not to use that. Um, an auto filter for certain parts of the track as well. I want to cut out some of the low frequencies of the kick drum. I also have an erosion and auto filter used for this riser here that um, goes well with this uh, massive patch, which is just a bit of white noise um, that the color goes up and the volume goes up as well. Um, like if I was to, to show you just so the drums, I'll show you this little uh, little break here. So what I was doing is the auto filter was going up, and also the erosion is actually always coming down in sync with the uh, with the track from this LFO, but the offset will go up. You can see that going up there, so that gives them a good idea of what that's doing to drums as that rises up. To start off with the track, we have um, a piano patch from Contact. That's just a piano from Contact with, I think, a... No, there's no reverb on it, but there's um, is reverb to the send of the composition reverb. And if we look at our drums, there's also... Um, there's also a small amount of um, reverb as a send here, convolution reverb. I think it's a drum plate that I'm using. Yeah, it's a drum plate. So that just gives a little bit more space and glue to the drums. We also have a piano melody, which is a Contact patch also. Um, then, also something I should probably mention is I do have a break laid with my drums, but only when the kick and snare hit because of an envelope follower. So, you can see the envelope follower doing its thing there. That just gives a little bit more texture to the kick and the snare drums there. You can see the volume going up and down. Um, so, our next sombra is an electric patch. Um, Default, it just sounds like this. With a good amount of time to it because I wanted that sort of high end focus for the wintry feel. I also then changed it up a little bit by putting on a bit warmer saturator, a discrete amp, and a dub plate distortion on it. This sort of, sort of like a really clean sound, really brings out the top end a little bit, cuts out some of the low ends that I don't, don't particularly want on the sound. Then I have um, some LFOs going. This one is basically doing um, the same function as an auto pan, um, just changing the pan a little bit from side to side. Then these two LFOs are actually modulating this one, so the volume will go a little bit funky from time to time, like every bar, just to give it a little bit of uh, the texture in the chords. Then these two LFOs are actually modulating this one for the detune that happens once every bar, or once every four bars or something, I'm not quite sure. But it does it um, every time the chord hits to give it a bit more texture and a bit more variation. So we're going to see what that sounds like with that now as well. You see the detune is going a small bit mental, but um, that's kind of what we wanted. It sort of wants to be a little bit analog, have the tuning go a little bit wrong, or a little bit sort of strange at points. I've also got some viola sounds from Contact as well. Um, I bought them in with an auto filter and a track volume just to make sure they didn't come in just all at once. So they're fairly simple. Uh, again, I'm sending most of these things to the reverb. Um, we also then have some reverse samples to bring us into chorus or other sections. So I'm using um, 
a reverse sample of the piano and I've also got an auto filter that goes up in frequency and also the LFO amount so it sort of just uh, brings it in for the, uh, for the first chorus. That sets it up quite nicely to, for, the, uh, for the first drop there. Um, we also have our sub being used for the first time here as well. So our sub here is an operator patch. So what I've done to this is I have got a saw three wave for the main oscillator. I didn't want to use a sine wave because I thought like that would be a little bit too warm maybe for a winter star track. And I've also modulated that with another saw three wave that is on a on a LFO once every four uh, once every crotchet. That's uh that's yeah, that's going to there. Then I have a sine wave and a saw three wave being modulated on course four functions by two LFOs with different phases. So that just gives a little bit of extra texture to the sound. I also then put a chorus on it to make everything sound a little bit a little bit wider and a little bit warmer. Um, we have another audio effect rack that I didn't particularly uh, didn't particularly use, but I did turn down the reverb function. And the reverb function is basically just isolating the top end, putting a reverb, a bit of distortion, and a little bit of width to it, just to give it a little bit of extra stuff, and also a compressor, just to make the top end just a little bit warmer and a little bit more apparent in the mix. Um, so that sounds like this. Yep, so that's what that sounds like. I also have a, a wavetable patch here. And for this, what I've done is I've just got a, um, a sine 4 harmonic patch, um, filtered off some of the top end to um, 6.5 kilohertz. I've got an LFO um, on a saw wave with a little bit of shape to it to give it a little bit of curve. One every eight, that's affecting the, um, that's affecting the volume. And you see they're flipping stuff about. Um, and also on the sort of same pattern, I have a um, every two bars I have a triangle LFO with a little bit of jitter to it, um, modulating with more for the auto filter, and that sort of brings out the top end a little bit more, and it also allows sort of like the lower harmonics to shine through. It just sort of gives it a bit more depth and a bit more a bit more shape. I think that sounds quite wintry because there is quite a lot of top end from when the filter morphs to only be um, on the top side. Um, and also that goes an octave higher a bit later on. Which is really nice, really twinkly, really good wintry sound. Um, the electric patch also plays a small uh, melody within the chorus. And of course every note that hits right on the bar has a little bit of modulation because it's the LFOs. So you can hear that when that note hits, it has a certain certain edge to it compared to the other notes that aren't right at the beginning of the bar. Um, I also have a piano which has been delayed by 11 milliseconds and taken up an octave, which actually mirrors the melody of the main piano. Um, so if I play them together, you'll hear they're a little bit out of sync. Which also may, it makes it sound maybe more like a duet rather than like the same, uh, just it being played on the same piano but an octave above. Um, so I sort of like that effect a little bit. Then we get to the end of the first chorus. Um, obviously, we have these rises, which we might want to look at again. Obviously, that rise is just a massive patch with, uh, with white noise that uh, climbs in colour and track volume, along with the auto filter. Um, we now have just the electric patch doing some chords and the same melody, but I have put a reverb and an auto filter on it to give it a tiny bit more space. You can hear the difference there. Um, and then have a trumpet patch from Matt, uh, Contact, sorry. Which is quite nice, fits the sort of mood quite well. I also have violas coming back in and also a tuba. Which gave quite a nice tone to the piece. 
I then also have um, I also have this patch here, which is a um, it's a trumpet patch, as you can hear if I was to solo this one. But what I've actually done is I have made a second chain where it has an envelope follower which is modulating an auto filter with a small amount of resonance and also a compressor and EQ um, just to sort of give it a bit of funk, sort of a bit of a, a bit of resonance to it. I quite like how that sounds. Um, and our sub comes back in for the second chorus. Everything is fairly much the same as the first drop. Um, there is one riser that is slightly different um, here. You can tell that instead of going up, it sort of goes down quite a lot and then up a little bit. And that's also when the auto filter comes on because if it's, um, yeah, if the auto filter is. See, it's there. If the auto filter is off, there's quite a lot of uh, bass in the drum, especially with the resonance of the auto filter. So I decided to put, um, put that auto filter on there again to just maybe shelf off some of the bottom end from that kick drum. Um, in the drums, we have a. I won't actually be able to identify what this break is, but we have this rhythm going on in the choruses. And then for the last chorus, we actually have an arm end rhythm. Um, so that is just gives a little bit more energy and a bit more speed to the piece. These are all from battery, so the kick drum is from battery three, the snare is from battery three. There's a um, a tambourine that I've taken, it's a sample from Ableton, there's a hi-hat, and then I've also made sort of like a second hi-hat from um, so we're gonna see what they sound like. So that's what the drums sound like. That's pretty much the entire piece covered right there. Um, but as I said, I, uh, I sort of already finished the piece after I had the idea to start doing these sort of video blogs. Um, but if I do change any more of it, I will either document it on the website, sort of written down, or I'll make another one of these. So yeah, that's basically it for that track. <laughs>